All right, so uh, I weighed in and saw that I was 285, which is good because last week it was 287 last Monday, so this Monday 285. I feel like at this point, I think that at this point that I've made enough mistakes with my food to finally get a little bit of consistency and I've been doing cardio. On another video I was talking about doing some consistency and you know figuring out how can I do 500 calories a day in cardio at least um, which for me feels like a reach right now because when I do 30 minutes on a stair climber at the gym I get a rough maybe 215 but that's for 30 minutes at a uh, manageable pace for me so one thing that I think I really did good on this weekend was manage my food because I was out and I wasn't home a lot and I I was out late Friday night partying on the skating rink, went to adult skate, which was a lot less hectic, but uh, it had a different vibe, but it was okay, but it was just a late thing. I was like, wow, I guess people were really out skating that late. And that kind of jacked me up because in the morning, I've slept later than I normally do on Saturday mornings. And I had to get a lot of stuff done. But a good thing though, is that Just Meats came in. Just Meats is a uh, service that services pre-cooked uh, meats for your consumption and it's portion controlled. So last Friday, I tried the, uh, I, I started off with a bang with the beef brisket and it tasted great. I could taste the smoke flavor along with the rice I had with it. It was just a nice dish. It was a nice departure from the regular pizza that I normally do on Fridays. And I also did cardio. I didn't do too much cardio. Actually, I didn't do cardio Saturday and Sunday because I think my body just needed to rest. I could just feel it just kind of dragging. So I gave myself some leeway, but I still managed my food like Saturday. Uh, I was at a gig and they were serving food there. And I was like, okay, let me see if I can estimate 500 calories of food. I did that and then like Saturday night, I don't think I really ate much of anything. I think I ate the rest of the brisket that I had, which is a, low, a lower calorie meal. So um, once I did that, I uh, was good. And then Sunday, uh, another kind of larger meal. And then what did I do for Sunday evening? I don't think I really ate anything Sunday evening. Um, because I had a larger meal. So I was like, okay, this probably is all my calories if I'm looking at it. So I didn't really eat much. I'm trying to think, what did I have Sunday evening? I don't think I really had anything Sunday, but I did cook because I made food with uh, Just Meats. I made the uh, beef teriyaki um, with yellow rice and a side of veggies that came out to about 490 calories a meal. I made four meals. It was very fast. That was like the fastest I ever made meals. Um, and so each meal was like 490 calories and what I do is like I'll prep it and then what I do in the meal prep container I'll put a post on it and just put the number of calories on it so that way I can log it into my fitness pal and be done just boom so I got it packed in the car now for lunch so that when I eat it today for lunch I can log it and say all right I had that and um I may have another one again for dinner, but I may want something different. I got some herb roast and chicken. The only thing I'm concerned about with Just Meats is just the cost. Like I'm, I'm a little concerned about the cost, but I haven't done the math yet. And it's a little tricky to do the math because the way I cook, if I'm buying chicken, um, you know, I could buy a bunch of chicken for a very low cost. But there is some prep time to it, and there's still a lot of cook time to it. And so, and my, you know, for the cost of an order of just meats, it's like my grocery budget for two weeks. Uh, because I'm so minimalistic in that, which enables me to afford to budget for other things right now. Um, I'm sure that'll be different with a family because I imagine mouths to feed is a, is a different uh, thing. And so I'm trying to kind of take advantage, set myself up for our future with the budget. You know and structure some things you know so I think I think it's good I'm, I'm happy that I have a lower weight because I've done a lot of vlogs like this where I've done the same weight over and over again I've done the same 
staying at 289, 290, 2, I was like 291, I'm like, I'm going up. But I do know that I was, I was like kind of tracking, but I was not tracking. I was drinking a bunch of Pepsis, a bunch of iced coffees. I was meal prepping, wasn't quite working out, iced coffees, things of that nature. Oh, speaking of working out, I did my push-up workout today, and today I'm at 40 push-ups now, straight through. The goal is to get to 100, but right now I'm breaking them up into 50 and 50. So as long as I do 50 minimum, I'm good for the morning and the evening. So in this case, I do 40. Because what I was doing, I was doing half, like I was doing like 25 or 30, and then I would try to break them up and do the rest of them. Now I can do 40 straight through. And then I try to max out on the second set, and then I'm done. And um, I think I'm working on a month of that. So I can imagine at two months, I'll have 50 down pack, and maybe working in the 60 reps. But uh, when I reach 50, when I'm able to consist consistently do 50, um, maybe at morning and evening, I'll switch to regular push-ups and start building from there. And that'll take me into three and four months of this. So I think I'm at a month now of push-ups. And the growth is coming. But what I'm learning is that this sort of thing with the weight loss, it takes months, even like for the car I want to save up for. Um, I'm really trying to focus a lot of energy to that. I want to travel. I feel like I should be traveling right now. I want to travel. I want to see the world. But I'm also thinking about what can I do if I saved up a bunch of money and got a car to rent, to rent out, which is totally different from what I was raised up in because, you know, we didn't rent cars. We didn't let nobody touch our car. And if, you know, my mom is on that, I ain't let nobody tear none of my stuff up. And I, and I understand that. I understand that, but the problem is, it's like if you're if you play your cards too close to your hand, you don't really. Um, it's hard. Ooh, I'm buttoning this on wrong. Well, no, it's, it's fine. Um, you don't really get to try to make your money make money for you. And um, when I look back over my life and all the gig and all the done extra extra crap I've bought, um, Amazon and. You know, music equipment, but that wasn't crap. That was actually for a reason. But I just think about when I was blessed with gigs, I did travel a little bit. But what if I just kind of focused that for the year, for the year, to invest in a rental car that I could use to start making some money and maybe be part of this rental business? I do know that if I didn't have this job, I would have to get creative. I would have to find another job in IT gig i would have to DoorDash, maybe uber or something but there's always a lot of work to do and with the city growing up the way it is i'm sure people are going to need cars so if i can i want to see i want to see what happens if i buy into that i want to see what happens if i buy a reliable car for cash and i put it on the market for rentals with these apps and see if it makes some money and then grow that you know so that's sort of like a 24 so that's like kind of a two-year plan but if i can make enough money to buy a car before the end of the year that's even better but i do know that generating the income by myself is going to take some time and i have to be disciplined and i also have to have some grace from above that nothing crazy happens that costs me a lot of money to fix which could either be housing or this but because I'm also investing heavily in my emergency fund preferably then I will have six months of uh, expenses to live off of so anything happen to me um, I am no for sure that my dad did not practice this but maybe it's because he didn't know maybe it's because he didn't know but I'm always thinking about that, like, okay, what do I do if something happens? So, you know, that's where budgeting comes in because, you know, Dave Ramsey teaches about your greatest wealth building asset is your income. And at first I'm like, what income? I ain't getting that much income. But now it's like, okay, now that I'm budgeting, now that I'm keeping a written budget and I'm learning how to put money aside for things um, and go without, like, I'm wearing these shirts out. Uh, and I got one more shirt coming in this week for my collection. Um, you 
you know, you got to really be careful. And then another thing too is, you know, I've tried to make sure I don't spend too much money on really much of anything with, uh, with me paying this. And, and you know, it kind of adds up because I think about, you know, going out to eat, like when I was going out to eat, you know, getting food from my like cookout, McDonald's, which is like my two main go-tos. Sometimes a teriyaki spot. Um, across, if I if I looked at my bank account, if I looked at my bank account and tallied up those entries, it probably would add up to the cost of just meats. If I think about it, because those because McDonald's is so much more expensive now. McDonald's is like the 99 cent double cheeseburger is long gone. And I know because I used to tear that up. Five dollar twenty piece nugget. Where did that go? If I could recall, the last time I went to McDonald's, I was like, "This is kind of like a Chick Fil A price. What is this?" So when I think about that, like if I go through my bank account, like I'm curious about going through my bank account and just tallying up when I was eating out, how much I spent on food alone. I think it'll be greater than a hundred dollars and with what I spent for just meats um, maybe about what did I get I spent like about 75 80 dollars on that and that was about six containers in that and six containers had six containers had four servings in it so Six times four is 24. So that's 24 meals. Well, that's 24 servings of meat for your meal. Um, 24 meals for about $80. And then, you know, sides, things like vegetables and stuff like that is easy to acquire. Um, I don't know. I really have to sit down and do the math. I can't do the math right now. Plus, I'm looking at traffic and all this stuff. And there's construction going on. And I could tell that the pollen is, is pollinating because of this. Man. So, with that, it's okay. So, I'm really just glad that I got a good weigh in this, this morning. I got my food packed. And one final thing is that you just got to learn to be hungry. I emotionally ate at this job because there's a lot of stuff that I didn't like. There's a lot of stuff, and there's ongoing things I don't like, and so I would turn to food to kind of take my mind off of it. But processes like losing weight and saving up for a car to solely to rent out instead of buy it for my own personal enjoyment and looking good and sexy for the ladies. <laughs> I guess I'm crazy. Well, I'm almost here. That's my uh, weekly update. I hope you're having a great week and making changes for yourself. I'll see you later.